What's going on everybody? Ramblin' Rider here. I just wanted to get something off my chest and vent a little bit about it. See what y'all had to say. As some of you might know and may not know, I live somewhere that does not allow me to keep my motorcycle at the house. There's no way around it. Most people can keep them in their garage or parking garage or what have you. No. We live in a townhouse style house, so there's no garage, there's just a parking lot in Hilton Head. And the gated community says no motorcycles. Now, I found this out the day I bought my motorcycle and brought it home. When I got to the gate, uh, they were like, you can't bring that in here. And I need to say, I was getting a little pissed. It's like, what do you mean we can't bring this in here? We own property here. We literally own the house on the property. What the fuck? What do you mean we can't bring this in here? Anyways, I hope you like my recreation of said interaction. So they wouldn't let me bring the bike in. They granted me a two day extension so that I could find a uh, storage unit. Was keeping it in a storage unit for a while. 70 bucks a month. I would drive my car to the storage unit with all my gear, forget part of my gear, go back, get the gear that I forgot, go back to the storage unit, park my car there, get on the bike and ride. But then, have to be back by the storage unit by like 8 p.m. when they close or else you can't get your bike back in and therefore I would have no place to put it. Some deep, deep ass sand that I'm going through. Now, to save money on the storage unit, started keeping it at my sister's house in her garage, which is great because it's got space, I've got place to work on it. It doesn't cost 70 bucks a month, but it's about 30 minutes away, which is a trade-off, but still fucking sucks. It freaking blows, because often I'll get, you know, something for the bike and want to go put it on, or just go pet it and give it some love, you know. You know what you do in your private time with your bike. You know those private things you do, I want to be able to do those. I want to be able to take it out for a 10-15 minute ride just to clear my head and de-stress, but no. I've got to ride, drive, 20 to 30 minutes just to get on the damn thing, 20 to 30 minutes back. So if I don't have a good hour just for traveling, then I usually don't ride the bike. So I just wanted to get that off my chest. It always bothers me, but I haven't mentioned it on here yet. You've probably been wondering why. I'm a Hilton Head motor vlogger who almost never rides the bike on Hilton Head. And this is why, now, I'm gonna go ahead and say an F this, F this giant puddle, because it is deep. I've watched some guys get in this. I might even have a picture I can dig up of the truck in there up to its tires. But let's see if we can't scooch around in here. It seems like someone might have made a little path for motorcycles. This could be a mistake. It, it's not a mistake. Hell yeah, dude. A little secret motorcycle trail around the deep ass puddle. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Just gotta get the damn sticks out of my bike now. Stick. Thank you. Great. Great. So yeah, let me know if y'all have any crazy regulations where you live that you have to deal with. Maybe make me feel better by sharing some of y'all's pain. We even tried to tell them that we'd keep it inside the house and they still wouldn't go for it. They're like, no, you need a garage. What the fuck? That is some freaking trash hole. So yeah, I appreciate y'all listening to me vent while I take this little trail. Trails come to an end, so we're gonna go ahead and get off of here. But I thank you again. I really appreciate it. I can't say it enough. I try to say it in every video that I appreciate y'all coming in and watching. And we will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Peace, 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 peace. Mm -hmm.